Hey there, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time for your weekly tarot for the week starting August 20th, 2023. And it looks like your big spiritual theme or your big focus for this week is the Empress Upright, which is all about big environmental and atmospheric changes going on all around you to put you in a place where you are feeling all the more comfortable, all the more wealthy, all the more secure, but also setting you up for a new kind of self-sustaining long-term success. The Empress is one of the best cards when it comes to discussing wealth, abundance, happiness, security, and longevity. And this is going to be a week where you are going to notice, though, that this is working over a lot of your routines and a lot of your spaces. So make sure that you understand that everything that does happen this week is happening to set you up for success and don't be one of those folks that um, self-sabotages and rejects positive change because again this is going to be a beautiful beautiful week for those who allow themselves to cash in. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life, you've got the seven of pentacles upright. And so there's going to be some really good news about something coming uh, just down the turnpike. This is going to be uh, a week where you might be getting some kind of notification, some kind of message, invitation, or um, official notice as it relates to a big move that probably won't happen right now, like right this week, but probably as we get closer to the end of the month or even the beginning of September. The Seven of Pentacles is a card that I'll, you know, I'm teaching, I kind of refer to as the check is in the mail kind of card, right? Something is getting approved, it's getting a yes answer, uh, this could be a beautiful brand new start or advancement for you, or maybe even some kind of very important turn page for your career or your family. But again, it's sort of like, all right, we've got that set, we've got it confirmed, we've got it nice and locked in, time to get ready, time to prepare for that. That's why we're getting the heads up so we can enjoy this uh, breakthrough as it comes, you know, within the next few weeks or so. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Six of Cups upright. And so this week, there's also going to be an opportunity for some happy returns, some happy reunions, especially when it comes to reconnecting with contacts or maybe even resources or opportunities that you have been distanced from either by space or by time. The Six of Cups can indicate a reunion with an old friend, sure, or maybe somebody putting an opportunity back on the table, or even the return of some old money or some old wins or old comforts that you've been kind of going uh, through life without until this point. When it comes to your challenge, this week, you've got the Five of Cups upright. And this week, you want to make sure that you are, again, doing the work of actually purging anything that might be keeping you in a place of stagnancy as it relates to not cleaning up business from matters that are already over. The Five of Cups always talks about facing situations that have already ended, pains that already occurred, things that still um, are in the past but could be affecting the present, needing to be ready to just close up shop on those things, whether it's um, you know a difficult situation as it relates to an old plan, an old project, maybe an old loss or disappointment. The Five of Cups is indicating you know the, the attachment to the ghosts of those situations could actually create a lot of problems this week, right? We don't need that being the reason we can't take on anything new in a timely fashion with, say, the Seven of Pentacles and the Empress, right? And so over the course of this week, you might be doing a lot of that cleanup work and getting ready for a big departure from those situations that, for all intents and purposes, are over, but may still have some lingering threads that need to be cleared. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, partnerships, and your personal life, you've got the chariot reversed. And this week, there may be a need for a bit of a sit down when it comes to 
two different lanes that maybe a relationship or a relationship plan or a dating situation has been occupying are starting to diverge, right? Uh, the chariot card reverse can show up when things can get very busy, busy, excuse me, busy, very busy, very hectic, tried to say them both at the same time. Um, but also we see a situation where a lot of priorities, a lot of obligations, as well, a lot of future, as well as a lot of future intentions are starting to kind of go off in their own directions in order to grow. And this could be an important week to kind of see, okay, what can we do in order to accommodate this change in trend that's going on in our relationship? Sometimes the chariot reverse is indicating we need to be able to pick different lanes. Sometimes this means we need to get better coordinated, get better organized, or maybe there are some things that we have committed to or are trying to make happen that we need to drop either from the past or ideas for the future. With the chariot card reversed, if we can get organized, this can still be a very good week in love. But if we just kind of see where things go, then we might be in a situation where a lot of clashes, a lot of toe-stepping, and a lot of conflict can happen. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot for the week starting August 20th, 2023. And this week your spiritual theme is the Five of Wands in reverse. And so this is going to be a week of diffusing challenges, diffusing situations that have become tense, a bit riled up, bringing in more peace and even quieting chaotic situations that have maybe been um, consistent in your life or in your world for some time. A lot of the Five of Wands reversed is all about turning down the heat, especially where it has gotten too hot or where we could use some relaxation, some downtime, and, you know, just lessened activity in order to get our heads on straight and, you know, get a semblance of order going in our world. And so pay attention to where this theme is coming up throughout all corners of your world. Sometimes we have to do the work of turning down the heat ourselves ourselves and sometimes we may just need to um, you know put up some extra boundaries or be ready to relieve ourselves of certain duties so that we can enjoy this but this will be a good week even though I'm looking ahead yeah we've got some challenging cards here remember context don't get in the kitchen when the cook is cooking when it comes to your material circumstances your work your job your finances practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life You've got the King of Swords reversed. This week, you're going to need to be on your guard. Yes, um, the King of Swords reverse can indicate a manipulative person or a manipulated situation that is starting to go to work on its own behalf, but putting itself and everyone else, including yourself, into a uh, precarious situation. The King of Swords reverse can show up where a person is only sharing half of the truth. They might be kind of uh, running a double scenario, playing both sides of a situation, or they are trying to convey a certain impression, a certain exterior, while withholding what's really going on with their own plans or what they're bringing to the table. This could be something going on with a sketchy client that, you know, if you believe the customer is always right, they're going to F you over. It could be going on with a colleague. It could be going on with a family member or even an account or something that relates to a project or a career matter. Luckily, with the King of Swords reversed and that Five of Wands reversed, we can diffuse the situation, maybe even get this person or the situation out of our space or at least back on the right track and still have a good week. Financially, this is going to be a great week for you. It's all about the people, though. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Knight of Cups reversed. And again, other people seem to be the hell this week, right? Sartre was right. And with the Knight of Cups reversed, there is a, a sense of a problem getting exacerbated or maybe turned up by somebody kind of living their insecurities, living their unaddressed emotional 
maladies. And that can sometimes happen with the Knight of Cups reversed. This is somebody who lets their problems be other people's problems, right? They're, they have no mind or conscientiousness for collateral damage. And which is horrible karma, by the way. But with the Knight of Cups reversed, this could be something going on where uh, some drama is getting stirred up. Sometimes this can happen in a covert way where somebody might be trying to get super, super close, get really, really in with you. And yet at the same time, they're also kind of the jinx. Be mindful of where these kinds of clingy, cloying, uh, pushy people or scenarios show up because it's not something to take a chance on. When it comes to your challenge, you've got the King of Pentacles reversed. And this is just all about remembering, you know, not to sell out at the end of the day. The King of Pentacles reversed can sometimes indicate as a challenge a need to be careful not to put yourself in a dangerous position just because you feel like it might be practical or it might put you ahead or it might score you some kind of big reward. This could be somebody trying to bribe you, control you with money or their power or the influence they claim to have, or this could be you as the earth sign in the situation being tempted to maybe make a deal with the devil, so to speak, in order to maybe alleviate some anxieties or concerns you may have about growth or maybe uh, an opportunity that's on the table. Do not do it. Do not let yourself be tempted. And remember to keep the peace with that five of wands reversed. It doesn't involve making any kind of difficult or, or potentially um, setback prone compromises this week. Somebody may be putting that on the table or trying to ap uh, apply that pressure this week. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, partnerships, and your personal life, you've got the devil upright. And this week there could be something coming up where um, an attachment, either an attachment to you or an attachment to a partner or a, a partner to be or a partner potential is starting to act up, starting to act out. The devil can sometimes show up as a hostile influence or an adversarial influence that is trying to stir the pot in your world. This could be, of course, maybe something that is from outside of your relationship situation, right? Family interference, in-law interference, exes, stalkers, people who can't really take no for an answer, or this could be even um, a bully or an oppressive situation coming from a non-personal space as it relates to you or your partner. Luckily, with the Devil card upright, we are getting a chance to face it and clear it boss battle style, and you do want to make sure that you allow yourself to do just that. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on and head to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot for the week starting August 20th. And this week, your big spiritual theme or your big focus is the Two of Swords reversed. And so this is going to be a week of a lot of new commitments finally going to work, but they are going to be commitments that um, are going to require some important pivots. The Two of Swords reverse says security, and it says long-term commitment, but to the exclusivity of other options. And so when it comes to things that maybe you have been weighing in your head, kind of juggling the pros and cons with, or maybe you've been in a situation where you've been feeling spoiled for choice, or you've been not sure which direction to go at a crossroads, a lot of these uh, matters are going to get settled this week, which can be really, really good. But with the Two of Swords reversed, you are also going to have to make sure that what you're committing to is also made known to whatever it is you're going to be doing. Because the Two of Swords reversed is setting you up with a much more organized, harmonious, and straightforward path, many different paths in different corners of your world. So you are going to need to be ready to accept those things. But we are also clearing the deck when it comes to a lot of things that have kind of cluttered up your world as well. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your living situation or home or family life, you've got the Page of Pentacles reversed. And so this week, there's going to be um, 
it looks like an important quit is going to be taking place. Uh, this could be a time where a lot of you Gemini people are finding a way out or finally deciding to take an out or an exit from a situation that has become costly, a vicious cycle, go nowhere, one step forward, two steps back, and moving on to a higher road or a higher path in that respect. This could be relating to a job, a financial arrangement, a living situation. And the Page of Pentacles reversed is indicating also a bit of an alert to take a new road or to take a new opportunity or to take a new big break more seriously than maybe you have or an idea or something that you've been maybe wishing you could do. Take it more seriously. Get practical with it. Don't keep it in your imagination because you could actually start to assemble the building blocks of that journey as well this week. But, you know, you can't be sitting at home dumping your hopes and sorrows on it. It's going to have to be played with and worked out. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Ten of Wands reversed. And again, we have another quit or news of another departure going on, except this seems to be going on with somebody else as it affects you. The Ten of Wands reversed is a relief card, and so this could be something that is relieving you of something that you thought was your duty, your obligation, something that has been controlling your time, your space, your availability. It could be something that you have been dealing with for a long, long time. It could be something that has been uh, sort of uh, a big theme or the main character of your life's story, so to speak. But with the Ten of Wands reversed, it is going away this week. And I do feel that this is a part of that Two of Swords reversed experience. And even if it's weird, um, and maybe you've had a hard time, the idea of letting go, it's, you've become used to it, it's routine, you're accustomed to it. As we go through the week and move on into the back end of August, I think that you're probably going to be happy for its departure. When it comes to your challenge, you've got the King of Cups upright. And the King of Cups is all about welcoming help, companionship, closeness. And there could be something going on this week where you are being challenged to bring somebody closer that is either A, offering to help you, B, has been trying to help you, or C, already has been helping you, but has been kept at arm's length. The King of Cups is a true blue friend. This is somebody who has got your back. This is somebody that would take a bullet for you. This is somebody that knows how to hook you up and may actually be of enormous assistance to you this week. But if you have been maybe keeping help at arm's length or you've not been very open or transparent, you've not been very engaged, you're not really making it easy to hook you up. And so pay attention to where there are um, some, again, some big breaks, some hookups coming through friends like this, but you're going to need to be able to let them in. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, and your personal life, you've got the Four of Wands upright. And this is spelling a beautiful uh, turn in terms of a relationship development, whether it's with maybe a partner potential or it's with your partner. And with the Four of Wands, we've got this um, sense of accomplishment, some kind of big win or news of a big win. I feel like this is a development that is going on, something that kind of uh, sprouted or is sprouting from something that you have already been working on or already engaged in. This could be something that uh, changes the path that you are on, not only in your relationship story, but also just in your own individual experience. This is also going to be a time of celebration, right? Also being able to reap the rewards or cash in on the uh, harvest of some kind of big success or big win as well. So that is what I've got for you all, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on head to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.
Hi there Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot for the week starting August 20th, 2023. And your spiritual theme of the week or the big focus of the week is the set, is the star, excuse me, uh, reversed, which is all about difficult starts to beautiful breakthroughs, beautiful outcomes, really getting a chance to finally get started on an important venture or maybe start to, um, you know, a start a climb to a new kind of consistent prosperity and success in your life. Now, the star card reversed can show up in ways where we also need to heed the advice Sometimes things start off really, really hard, right? A brilliant new job uh, or a new project or whatever. It can start off in a very difficult way. And you want to make sure that you are in a space where you're being discerning. You're not judging things just based on pleasantness versus unpleasantness, surface, you know, level values and things like that. Because a lot of this week is going to be um, showering you with a lot of gifts. And the star card reverse is indicating there are going to be a lot of wins this week for you, but they may come in ugly wrapping paper or be delivered in weird ways. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life, you've got the Six of Wands upright which is all about victory, popularity, promotions, acclaim, right? Moving on up in the world. And with the Six of Wands upright, you are going to be in a situation where a big win or a major victory or a major triumph is going to propel you when it comes to being able to either climb a ladder when it comes to the hierarchy in a business or work situation, possibly even enjoy some kind of major acquisition or win as it relates to a financial matter, or even finally get a chance to transition into a more comfortable living or working space. With the Six of Wands, it will be a very extroverted period as well. Again, popularity is a part of this, and so you are also going to want to be ready to communicate, show your appreciation, show up and engage what is going on here, because this can be something that snowballs even into bigger opportunities down the road. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Three of Cups reversed. And this week, there could still be some dramas that start up, unfortunately. The Three of Cups reversed can indicate uh, issues, especially when it comes to friends and family. It's more on the platonic side of things. Gossip, backbiting, right? Click drama. He said, she said stuff going on. And there may be something trying to uh, rattle the cages of, you know, whatever is going on in a, I, I'm seeing at least one, maybe two, like one or two instigators in this social space or in this workspace or family space this week. With the Three of Cups reversed, you may decide it's time to give somebody a bit of a timeout, especially if they are acting up, again, getting all crazy, popping off, or trying to uh, start some shit that, you know, they don't need to start. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Seven of Swords upright. Be careful. You are going to have to maintain a balance when it comes to keeping your own confidence and also minding where other people may be being honest or dishonest themselves. With the six, with the seven of swords upright, excuse me, the seven of swords upright, um, you may be finding out, yeah, there are some people that might be up to some shady business. Here's looking at that three of cups reversed. There could be some lies getting spread. There could be something going on where somebody might be trying to uh, damage or hurt a, a friend or a relative of yours or somebody you care about, right? Mess with their reputation. Or there could be something going on where you need to be on guard yourself and be careful about where you are putting a lot of your plans for the future or uh, maybe even your own victories out there. You know, some people are miserable and they are happy to just be spoilers, right? They don't have time to kill. They have time to fill, which is even sadder. And so this could be a time where you need to be, again, extra careful about what you are sharing and what is vulnerable to that kind of interloping behavior. When it comes to your 
community, I'm uh, sorry, we did community. <laughs> when it comes to relationships, love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Queen of Cups in reverse. And this week, you need to be on your guard. Uh, we've got another situation where it seems like people are, um, well, they're just not very cool. <laughs> the Queen of Cups reverse can show up where we may have to face a situation where a very draining or possibly manipulative, um, oppressive influence is happening in a very covert way. The Queen of Cups reversed, I've often referred to in the past as the psychic vampire or the energy vampire of the tarot deck, right? Upright, the Queen of Cups upright is the, is the fairy godmother. But reversed, we kind of have this sort of meek, toxic baby kind of personality, right? Um, this is the type of person who tries to control from the bottom. They accentuate their frailties, but they also project a lot of needs onto people and just kind of suck the life energy right out of them. They kind of live on that attention and they live to be taken care of. This could be, for those of you who are single or available to new people, potentially somebody new showing up. So keep your options open. You don't want to get close to that. Or it could be somebody that may be messing with a partner potential or a partner to be. Or if you are coupled, this could be somebody attempting to mess with a partner of yours. And so this is going to be a time where, uh, again, the, the boundaries as well as some serious honesty with what we're seeing need to be employed. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, Leo, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot for the week starting August 20th, 2023. And this week, your big spiritual theme, your big focus is the Wheel of Fortune reversed. And this week, you're going to want to make sure that you are getting down to business, uh, you know, catching up on things that you have been maybe hands off with ignoring or risking dropping the ball with. The Wheel of Fortune Reversed is a card that reminds us that it's not always good to just kind of passively surrender and wait on divine timing and the universe. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, we are put in the driver's seat. And so whatever you do get hands on with, whatever you do get to work on, whatever you do take the initiative, right, as an adult with, is going to thrive and prosper. But whatever you may be kind of leaving in the hands of other people, deferring away or trusting to chance is going to be put at risk. And so this may be a week where you need to shift your priorities up a little bit, check up on some things that you have been kind of just wishing, waiting and hoping on, and also make sure that if you want something to happen, that you get down to business, right, and get to work on it. Uh, it's kind of like if you want to move, Start packing before you start house hunting. It really gets the energy flowing in the right direction. This is that kind of week for you. It's time to get down to business, practical hands-on work. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life and living situation, you've got the fool upright. And with The Fool, we've got a brand new page getting turned. A lot of you are going to be um, very happily receiving some kind of new influx of either money itself coming from a brand new source. This could be a new job, a new clientele, a new environment. Some of you may be also finding that this is the week where we might be able to get started with some kind of big important move or transition, whether it's a, a professional move or a living situation move. But the fool is indicating you are going to want to make sure that you think on your feet and you keep up with the acclimation process of it all because you are going to be taken out of familiar territory and, you know, you're not going to go on autopilot with this. You're going to have to make sure that you're able to adjust um, with what is expected of you because this is going to have some very big payoffs, but it's going to be very foreign at the same time. So it's like we got to re-educate ourselves as we go along. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Three of Wands upright, and it looks like you are also getting uh, some very good news here as well. The Three of Wands is indicating some kind of very important update 
that you are getting um, either from a friend or an ally or somebody new, maybe a relative, somebody who is basically giving you important news about a big break or a big launch that is finally ready to happen. The Three of Wands is all about an early start on success or maybe even the speeding up of some kind of development that has been waiting to get implemented. So this could be something that it's sort of like, you, okay, the bell is dinging, it's time to get down to work. And this could also indicate some kind of help or assistance being handed off to you that's going to uh, lift you up a bit here as well. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Five of Pentacles reversed. So the Five of Pentacles reversed is not really a, a bad card. It's all about filling a void, turning your life around, um, things going through an improvement financially, socially, professionally. The Five of Pentacles reversed is all about filling voids and, and removing lack with new sources of abundance and support. But if this shows up as a challenge for people, I've often found this is, again, a warning against a resistance to change, a resistance to changing what you're doing, how you're doing it, where you are, or even who you are in some ways. We've got to be kind of like that fool card, ready to adapt and evolve, right? That's kind of the point of existing. And sometimes with the Five of Pentacles reverse as a challenge I've noticed is that it can feel a bit scary to make a departure from unpleasantness that you can time your watch to and go into pleasantness that's totally foreign. Suck it up. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, and your personal life, you've got the Ace of Wands reversed. And this week, there may be some news that comes in that an idea or maybe a plan or proposition that we have isn't getting off the ground. Now, this could be going on with uh, a partner or a partner potential. This could be something brand new starting as well. But the Ace of Wands Reverse is saying that uh, a different way of bringing about this idea or, or going about this work has got to happen. We are taking the wrong steps or we are following the wrong path or we are using the wrong itinerary to accomplish what we are trying to accomplish here. The Ace of Wands Reverse can say, so long as we carry on as we have, we're not going to go anywhere. Luckily, though, with the Ace of Wands reversed, all we need to do is do some serious troubleshooting. It might require each of us, you know, eating some humble pie, but it can be turned around. But that's what the Wheel of Fortune reversed is all about, getting hands on and turning things around. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot for the week starting August 20th. And this week, your big spiritual theme, your big focus is the Seven of Cups, upright. And so this is going to be a week where you're going to want to take time to let the world open up to you. Uh, the Seven of Cups is all about having a, a flush of new options, new roads, opportunities uh, kind of inundate you, right? You're going to be spending a lot of this week feeling a bit lost, a bit spoiled for choice, maybe getting a bit of information overload. Now, the Seven of Cups happens for a very important reason, and that is because it does help us, funny enough, find the best road, the best path, the best resources, the best connections to get what we are trying to create for ourselves, get where we're trying to go in life. And if you have been in a situation where you've been stuck without options, it's been just kind of a barren landscape, this is going to be a good week because options are going to be plentiful. But you don't want to rush to commitments or rush to conclusions or rush to prematurely make a selection before you've seen all of your options, whether it's options for jobs, options for living situations, options for trips, options for school, options for relationships, options for anything. You're going to want to take things one step at a time because not all of these options are going to be equal in terms of their quality and value. But the good news is, is that they're there. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, 
practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life, you've got the Knight of Pentacles reversed. And so this week, let's just talk about money for a second. You're going to be rolling in it. This week is going to be very prosperous for the Virgo people. The Knight of Pentacles always brings up a great deal of wealth and money, and upright or reversed, it doesn't matter. The problem with the Knight of Pentacles reversed always shows up where there may be something going on where work or an element of work or a financial matter uh, kind of dominates or threatens to dominate and take over our entire week. This can be something that forces us to do manual overtime. Um, we are working longer hours and more hours than we normally budget for, and it could be even creating disruptions in other spaces. Make sure that you do not let this become a precedent, right? Whether it's clients and customers, you know, I always, you know, secretly despise customers that, um, no, I'm trying to, you know, be nice and give them an extra five, ten minutes, but they try to get a full hour out of a half hour reading anyway. Um, you know, uh, you know who you are. I'm not looking forward to reading for you again. <laughs> you know, be careful about people that want to take advantage of you. If you offer your time freely and you're having a good time, that should be visible in your social cues and you're talking it out all nice and good. But just be careful this week. It will be easy to be taken advantage of even though you're making money. So, um see what you can do and what you can live with. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Justice card in reverse. And with the Justice card in reverse, uh, there you might be hearing about something collapsing outside of you and your immediate space. Again, this is relating to friends, relatives, other people, um, you know, business alliances. The Justice card reverse could indicate some news of some kind of end going on or maybe even some drama that gets stirred up by controversial activity happening with a friend or a relative. You might be hearing about uh, trouble somebody's getting into. You might be hearing about a breakup or a divorce in the family. And with the Justice card reverse, this is going to cue some kind of development or action for you. Uh, there is a call to action in this, but take your time with feeling this situation out before you decide what you're going to do. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Judgment card upright. And the Judgment card upright is indicating that this week is all about tests, right? Crossing a threshold, getting ready to move on into a new phase of life. Even though we've got a lot of activity going on, the Judgment card reversed can indicate that there may be some things that come up that help to propel you out of a stuck condition. The Judgment card as a challenge, though, does indicate be ready to take these tests. Be ready to stand up and show your stuff. Be ready for the big moments. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the High Priestess reversed. And this week, you're going to want to make sure that you um, take a step back and get a good hard look at what's going on when it comes to people who are misrepresenting themselves. For those of you who are single or available to new people, the High Priestess Reverse can indicate somebody that may be trying to make a relationship happen by being somebody that they are not, right? They kind of maybe present this person that they are, right? Plaster you with all kinds of different stories and little affirmations while in actuality their life is something completely different. We can also see with the High Priestess reversed, somebody maybe even trying to give you advice or get involved in matters of your life that they have no business in, uh, get too close too fast, insinuate, right, infest. Be very, very careful if you're a single Virgo this week and keep your options open. And when it comes to your coupled Virgos out there or those of you who are seeing somebody, the High Priestess Reverse can indicate a manipulator or a manipulative person like that, uh, perhaps attempting to control you from outside your relationship or control a partner from outside the relationship. And so again, when it comes to the High Priestess Reverse, best strategy is always cut them off at the knees and <laughs> might have to do that this week, figuratively speaking. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot for the week starting August 20th. 
And this week, your big spiritual theme or your big focus is the Seven of Wands upright, which is all about you getting into the fast lane and also getting a chance to be able to come out on top of situations that have maybe been bogging you down, blocking you, oppressing you, or obstructing you in any kind of way. The Seven of Wands says it's Advantage Libra, so it is also a time where you may be getting a lot of very important uh, cleanup opportunities when it comes to situations that have gotten out of hand in life, and you may also be noticing anything or anyone that's been directly opposing you also starting to falter. So be prepared. It's time for you to get ready to steamroll a lot of situations that have been keeping you stuck. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, and your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home life, living situation, all of that, you've got the Queen of Swords upright. And so we have another leg up kind of experience going on here. The Queen of Swords always shows up as uh, a situation or a person that is going to be turning a tide for us when it comes to some kind of important decision about an agreement, arrangement, or a rule. Or this could be something happening that is going to work and solving a problem that has been either perennial or just unsolvable with what information or resources we have had available until this week. With the Queen of Swords, this can be a time where you may be finding that this is all working for you and in your favor, but it's a lot tougher. It might even be a, a little bit harsher than maybe you would have gone about doing this yourself. But do not get in their way. The Queen of Swords is also indicating a change of some kind of rule or um, maybe some kind of policy or some kind of agreement or normal in your life that is giving you an edge when it comes to being able to make an important transition soon. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Eight of Pentacles reversed. And this week could have some annoyances crop up, some headaches crop up, especially when it comes to a screw up. Now, the Eight of Pentacles reverse can indicate screw ups, especially when it comes to important, important details uh, getting ignored or missed or people getting themselves into trouble, people having butterfingers moments or being irresponsible. And you may be finding out about something like that going on with a friend, a family member, or uh, maybe an associate. The Eight of Pentacles reverse can indicate a situation where somebody has been put in charge of something or has somehow taken on something that they are not qualified for, whether they are not skilled enough, educated enough, or they don't have the time or the resources to take good care of it. And this could be a time where either A, you are called upon to help clean it up, again, for the other people. We're not there to bail them out, but we are there to make sure nobody else has to suffer or you could even be getting a chance to adopt the situation and take it on yourself um, and maybe even scrub it up for yourself. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Nine of Swords reversed. And the Nine of Swords reversed is saying, be careful about unnecessary guilt, unnecessary anxiety. The Nine of Swords reversed can indicate a warning against making bad things happen by participating in the raising of the roof when it comes to anxiety, anxious energy, high stress, and all of that kind of stuff. The Nine of Swords reverse is indicating, yeah, there are going to be some stressful moments this week, but it's inside everybody's heads. And none of it really has to precipitate or make anything happen unless people just decide to lose themselves and make it happen themselves, hence self-fulfilling prophecy. You want to make sure that you are doing everything in your power not to become one of those, but also at the same time, again, watch out for any kind of guilt or anxiety you may have about getting ahead in situations where maybe other people might be faltering or falling, right? As we saw with the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles reversed. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, and your personal life, you've got the Queen of Pentacles upright. 
And love and romance seem to be going into a very practical, very industrious, very enterprising way. A lot of you who are single or available may be meeting somebody either through somebody that you know through work, uh, either a present work associate or maybe somebody from the past or somebody that you will meet through their job or maybe just a hobby or a passion or an interest that you have. And we are bonding and breaking the ice through the work of it all, the enjoyment of the work, right? Having that common thread and taking a different approach than maybe the more uh, modern conventional uh, mating dances that a lot of people do. For those of you who are coupled, this is going to be a time where you're going to notice you and your partner are coming into a very comfortable way through bonding over some kind of important project um, or maybe business or investment, something that is just as much a game as it is also a good practical plan for the future. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot for the week starting August 20th, 2023. And this week, your big spiritual theme, your big focus is the Page of Swords, upright. And so this is going to be a week of many meetings, many investigations, many interviews, many conversations, and a lot of hustle and bustle. But the Page of Swords is all about getting ready to begin or embark upon some kind of important quest or important step that is going to be putting you in a faster way to accomplish some kind of personal um, aspiration or something that you would like to create for your home or your family. With the Page of Swords upright, this is all about investigating. You are going to need to be ready, but we are also seeing, again, even in small ways, opportunities to show your stuff and get discovered and maybe even pulled into a spotlight or two. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to home and family and your living situation, you've got the Eight of Swords reversed. I'm oh, sorry, Eight of Swords. I just said Swords. Eight of Wands reversed. The Eight of Wands reversed. And so with this week, I am seeing that um, there may be a rerouting going on when it comes to a plan of action, a business arrangement, a financial matter, or even a work path because of a change of pace. With the Eight of Wands reversed, some of you may be finding that this is going to be a time where something is slowing down in its growth or slowing down uh, in its productivity, and we may need to be ready to accept a lane, a lane change that will be put on the table. Some of you may find that you will be changing lanes because something is speeding up and becoming a lot more demanding. Either way, you want to make sure that you are flexible. The Eight of Wands reverse is indicating a road or a lane must be changed because it can still be a good week if we do. It will only be a challenging week if we just kind of keep our head down and carry on as we've been. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Knight of Wands reversed. There could be some disappointment, disappointment coming through somebody that is not able to live up to their boasts. Uh, the Knight of Wands reverse can indicate plastic, shallow, fake behavior, somebody who is all hype, somebody that may talk themselves up or make a lot of promises, um, you know, but at the same time, it's just all energy with no substance. And you may be finding out about something somebody promised not getting fulfilled, somebody saying something they can do that they can't, somebody saying something about who they are that they're not, or you may find that there is something that you have to now uh, retrieve or redirect because it has been failed or maybe mistreated or mishandled by this person. When it comes to your challenge this week, interestingly enough, you've got the Page of Cups upright. And so even though we've got kind of a weird week so far, you're going to be getting a lot of really loving gifts, loving favors, and loving invitations by people and from situations that are trying to pull you out of these frustrating circumstances. And this is sort of the test, right? Are we so attached to maybe 
things that we don't need to solve or fix or teach a lesson to that we accidentally miss out on good opportunities that are giving us an out or superior options anyway. You know, we might get kind of mad, but we want to be okay with not sticking to a plan just because we made that plan once upon a time. The Page of Cups is all about kind, you know, compassionate, but also personally catered love, affection, favors, gifts, and hookups that are here for you. You just got to make sure that you're not ignoring them for the negativity that could be coming from, say, the Knight of Wands reversed, or maybe some possible frustrations that come up with the Eight of Wands reversed. That would be your own fault. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the eight, uh, sorry, nine of cups reversed. And with the nine of cups reversed, this week you may be finding out about um, some kind of wish that is partially getting granted, uh, some kind of accomplishment that is partially completed. And that is because the Nine of Cups reverse can show up where we may be finding out about something developing with a partner or maybe even uh, something being put on the table by a partner or for those of you single or available, somebody new or somebody recent, but it is going to need some TLC. It is going to need some finishing touches before it can really take off. The Nine of Cups reverse can also indicate, though, uh, a need to be careful with the way that we are communicating. People are going to be taking our words at face value. It's the monkey's paw, genie in a bottle, getting a tarot reading kind of lesson. What you ask for or what you are wishing for or how you speak is exactly how you are going to get your response. And so make sure that you are being very careful with the way you are wording your desires, your requests, your questions, and your wishes, because they can be granted. But it's almost like everything's going to be taken a lot more literally by people. And again, we also have some really cool things showing up here as well. We just need to take extra care with the details of all of them. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on head to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hi there, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot for the week starting August 20th, 2023. And this week, your big spiritual theme or your big focus is the death card reversed. And so this week is kind of all about finalizing transitions, moves, old business that could still be affecting the present that should have no business in the present. The death card reversed can sometimes indicate a period where we might see why we could be stuck or not moving forward as fast as we'd like or why certain things might be getting blocked from coming into our life because we might still be carrying on an old life. We might still be carrying on an old timeline. We might still be carrying on our usual way. And this is a week where you may also find that situations where other people ha are out of, you know, date, right? They're not current. It's they're not in 2023 are also going to perhaps be bringing some problems your way because of whatever they're stuck with as it relates to the past. Luckily with the death card reverse, this can also show up where a lot of endings are being enforced right? Because the universe doesn't like to get stuck and it eventually stops being kind to people that try to make it be stuck. And you are going to see a lot of forward movement as we go through the rest of the end of this week. Just be prepared though. It is all about finalizing transitions. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life and your living situation, you've got the Five of Swords reversed. And so this week, you might be finding out about something that is getting repaired for you or put back together or maybe patched up 
as it relates to a business plan, a family plan, or a financial matter. The Five of Swords reverse could indicate something that was maybe in peril or something that was damaged is getting put back together. You may be finding out that you are getting a chance to patch up or end some kind of controversy, conflict, or war in one of these areas of your life. And you are also going to get a chance, if you want it, uh, to reconnect with people or with opportunities that you have been distanced from because of some kind of controversy or conflict. If you don't want to kiss and make up, that's perfectly fine. But at least let the peace and the reparations happen. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Four of Swords reversed. And there may be news of some kind of very fast overnight development going on that um, is going to have a ripple effect on the rest of the group or the rest of the family or whatever is involved in this situation here. Now, this isn't happening to you personally. Again, this is happening to a friend, a relative, or somebody else. But with the Four of Swords reversed, it is going to uh, kind of turn the world upside down a little bit for you and this person for a while. It could be good, it could be bad, it could be neutral, but what is happening here is that particular person or that particular situation is finally kind of going through um, their own transition that they probably need to, or uh, this is something that has been uh, building up for a while. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Six of Pentacles upright. And the Six of Pentacles is all about things getting fixed with help, right? Investments being made in you, help, direction, and guidance coming to you, investments being made in you. So this is a very, very positive card. And this can indicate, for the most part, that this week really isn't going to be as challenging as the first three card themes may have suggested. However, with the Six of Pentacles as a challenge, we can sometimes be challenged to make sure that we aren't closing our minds to things that are trying to help us, right? If an investment is being made of, in us or people are hooking us up or they're being generous with us or they're guiding us or they're taking care of us, we don't want to dig our heels in because they might be going about it a different way than we are familiar with or than we would like. We also want to make sure that we're not afraid to receive help or to join forces with people that want to help us out. When it comes to relationships and love, romance and partnerships, you've got the Two of Pentacles reversed. And the Two of Pentacles reversed is indicating this week there's going to be um, either an opportunity or a need to simplify, to harmonize, re-coordinate, or even downsize something that has been going on uh, as it relates to your love life. The Two of Pentacles reversed can be very, very good, especially when it comes to getting more focused on the relationship, the household, and the family, getting a lot of distractions out of the way. But it can also be a warning that something that has been a regular occupant of this part of our lives, right? Whether it's something a partner's bringing to the table or something we're bringing to the table, something that's a part of our lives, um, is getting a bit out of control and needs to be brought under control. The Two of Pentacles Reverse can indicate a lot of you likely will get an opportunity to, you know, start talks about going more exclusive or maybe even changing relationship status. For those of you who've been seeing somebody, um, you know, maybe but not codifying it. And for those of you who are single or available to new people, this is also going to be a time where you're going to get a chance to meet somebody who is looking for that and is going to be upfront about that. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot forecast for the week starting August 20th. And this week your big spiritual theme or your big focus is the Magician Reversed. And so looking ahead at the rest of these cards, this week looks very, very positive. And so it feels like this Magician Reversed is really talking more about you and preparedness. A lot of the times the Magician card reverse can show up where we need to pay close attention to where 
we might not necessarily be ready or equipped or prepared for important breakthroughs, developments, projects, or pursuits that are going to be put on the table. We might not feel like we are organized or we have the time or the training. And during this week, you might be playing a lot of catch up in order to make it happen uh, because we don't want to walk into this week being unprepared. Uh, and we may have to play catch up as we go, but everything else here is so good, you know, we don't want to be caught with our pants down. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs, as it relates to your home and family life, you've got the two of wands upright. And again, this week is going to be beautiful here. The two of wands is all about a firm new commitment that is going to be setting you up to be in a very wealthy, prosperous way for the long haul. This could be a new development happening at work, a new financial arrangement, or maybe a new business idea or financial opportunity hitting the ground running. Some of you may be finding out you are getting some kind of important link or important handoff that is going to be a huge asset in the midterm future. And a lot of you are also going to find that um, if there has been trouble in getting something set in stone that's been very wishy-washy, this is going to set everything up to be much more secure. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and maybe other people in your life, you've got the Two of Cups upright. And you're going to be getting news about some kind of important alliance, commitment, coupling, uh, relationship development, whether this is uh, a romantic one or a professional one or just a close friendship or collaboration, whatever, that for some reason, because this is happening, it's also having a very positive effect on you and your world. Now, this could be an important alliance or arrangement going on in your life as well, but I feel like this union that is happening is something that either you will be rooting for or something you have been rooting for because it is going to set out some powerful ripple effects and for you know the entire group, the entire family, the business, whatever is going on here, um, this couple, it, you know, this companionship, this union, this alliance is going to be crucial and this development is an important step in those changes coming forward. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Nine of Wands upright. And the Nine of Wands is all about perseverance, being set up for success, protecting yourself, and carrying on forward. And as we talked about in the beginning with the Magician Reversed, it might be easy to get discouraged because it looks like a lot of very positive developments are happening all at once. And sometimes positive things can stress us out when we feel like we can't keep up. And your challenge is to make sure that you do keep up as best you can. Do not try to stop, derail, block, or slow down anything that's going on this week. Because again, at the end of the day, it's all affecting you positively, directly and indirectly. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Hierophant upright. And the Hierophant is all about setting in stone or um, locking in a new life direction that does involve serious commitment. The Hierophant can, yes, indicate for those of you who are single or available, um, the opportunity to be connected or brought more closely with somebody that will likely be a long-term relationship partner potential. If the High Priestess, you know, when upright is the matchmaker card, the Hierophant is a little bit more of like the environment shaper card. And so this could be a situation where, um, you know, something is putting you in the right place at the right time. Or this could be a situation where somebody with, you know, the exact same values as well as uh, relationship prerogatives as you also shows up on the scene. For those of you who are coupled or are married, this is absolutely a step in the direction of getting established in a brand new story, a brand new arc, or a brand new phase of your relationship. The Hierophant can elevate up a sta everyone a status. It's one of the cards that does that. But this can also be about locking in something external to the relationship that also secures the relationship, whether it's um, something to do with 
a financial matter, something that you guys have planned for the far, far future, something that you want to work on together, or even something relating to your spiritual path and practice. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot for the week starting August 20th, 2023. And your big spiritual theme this week is the Ten of Swords, reversed. And this week is actually going to be quite glorious. Yes, the Ten of Swords reversed is one of those cards that is actually better when reversed. So you can imagine how I feel when I see comments in my videos about seeing reversed cards and, you know, you've got panicked, frightened, superstitious villager number three acting out, talking about reversed cards being bad. It's like, no, they're not all bad. In fact, we've got the Ten of Swords reversed talking all about exits, escapes, big breaks, and opportunities for you to get out of dodge with situations that um, are not really taking you anywhere. This is a card of relief. This is a card of release. And this is also a card of being able to even bail on things that you thought you had to stick out or you had to finish, even though they were of enormous detriment to you or others around you take the outs that show up this week. The Ten of Swords reverse can also indicate opportunities for you to make some kind of big score that sh for all intents and purposes doesn't seem to follow linear logic. Um, this is a turn in your luck for the better. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life, you've got the Knight of Swords reversed. And this week, there could be some drama that starts up at work or around a financial matter or a business matter, possibly a family matter. Um, financially, things are going really, really well. Sword cards, whether upright or reverse, when we're talking about court cards, are still very, very good financially speaking, money coming in fast and in big amounts. It's just the sword cards reversed often talk about where the people are the problem. And this could be one of those situations, a clash, a conflict around somebody's erratic behavior, inconsistent behavior, impulsive behavior could be putting something in the balance. Uh, this could be maybe the rash actions of a client, a customer, a, a fellow employee, or maybe even something going on with an account or a debate or conversation going on, or maybe even a reckless decision or ri risky business happening with a family member or an account. With the Knight of Swords reversed, we just need to seal it up and move on. This is not a situation where you should try to teach, negotiate, or haggle with whatever is being put on the table. There is nothing good about what is being put on the table. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Ace of Cups upright, and it looks like a very important handoff is happening this week in your favor. The Ace of Cups is all about a gift, a token of love, a very important, generous gesture that is going to be lifting you up, but also lifting up something very important to you that you have been trying to take care of on your own. This could be coming from a friend, a relative, or somebody that is considered an ally to you, or this could be something that is getting just dropped in your lap. The Ace of Cups can also indicate a, a very important development going on in another corner of your life that is going to precipitate a big favor being done for you on your or on your behalf. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Emperor reversed. And with the Emperor reversed, this is going to be a week where you want to pay attention to what you don't need to try to control too much. Sometimes the Emperor Reverse can show up where we need to allow things to happen, loosen up the straps, and, you know, let the chips fall where they will. For instance, if you're getting chances to get away from situations that you don't have to manage anymore, take the out, right? Just like we saw with the Ten of Swords Reverse. You don't have to play the Emperor Reverse and be like, no, it's my responsibility if you're getting off the hook and it's bad for you to stay involved. 
With the emperor reversed, you may refuse gifts or nice things or generosity coming uh, to you through, say, the Ace of Cups upright, because maybe you don't feel like it's appropriate to, for you to receive them. Or you might think that um, it somehow diminishes or debases the situation for you to accept good things. Don't be like that. The Emperor Reversed is ultimately saying, where is it that we need to be careful about blocking or trying to control too much? When it comes to relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Ace of Swords upright. And this week, love is going to be speeding up in its developments. Uh, those of you who have, of course, watched me before, I've always referred to the Ace of Swords as the green light card or the road opener card. And there may be something that you and a partner or you and a partner to be or just you yourself have been waiting on, searching for, or uh, patiently anticipating that is finally getting underway, a development that is finally getting on the move. The Ace of Swords can indicate locked doors can now be opened, so it's perhaps a situation where um, we have been waiting on something to develop, but it was not allowed to develop, or the door was not open. Again, there was an obstruction. And the Ace of Swords is also indicating that there may be something getting started or initiated this week by a partner or a partner-to-be that is also going to present a solution or a big break for a part of your life that has nothing to do with your love life specifically. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot for the week starting August 20th, 2023. And your big spiritual theme or your big focus this week is the Nine of Pentacles upright, which is all about independent success, big wins, early harvests, and big harvests at that, as well as being able to wrap up a lot of long eras or long journeys with big rewards. The Nine of Pentacles is all about an elevation of stature, quality of life, your position, and setting you up for a much brighter future down the road with the resources, with the connections, and the tools to keep it so. It's a beautiful, beautiful week ahead, but it's important to keep in mind with the Nine of Pentacles, right? We are closing up a story or closing up a chapter at the same time, so there may be some cleanup also happening. So, you know, don't, don't completely ignore that, but it's still going to be a damn good week. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life, you've got the hanged man upright. And it looks like something is getting put on pause this week with regards to um, a project or a work plan or a, uh, a career process or a road you've been on or maybe even something relating to an investment or a living situation. With the hanged man, it's important that this pause is allowed to happen, however, because the hanged man can often indicate a pause or a freeze for your own good. This can sometimes show up where we need to be ready to divert our attention to other matters. There may actually be better opportunities or better ways to get where we want to go. Substitutions to maybe uh, something that we have been working on for a long time or getting involved in for a long time are going to be presenting and they do need to be entertained. This can also show up here where this pause with the hanged man could just be putting something in a chrysalis phase and it will come back on the table in a couple of weeks or maybe a month or so, but in a brand new form, something that will likely become a lot more lucrative, a lot more fulfilling and something that will be a bigger cash out for you. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Temperance card reversed. And this week, there could be um, a point where you and maybe uh, an associate, a family member, are going through a process of creating more space between yourselves. The Temperance card reversed can show up where 
incompatibilities need to be accepted for what they are instead of trying to just force them to work. Sometimes when we force incompatible things to be in the same place, they only continue to hurt each other, bring each other down, or stagnate one another, right? They just kind of uh, tear each other apart. And there could, it might not be that intense, but there is going to be a point where we need to accept the reality of whatever this situation is with whomever this other person is. The temperance card reversed can show up where trying to force incompatible things, incompatible goals, incompatible plans, incompatible people to occupy the same spot is going to mess up the vibration of both of them. And then nobody's going to be able to get what they want because it's all messed up. It's not a match for either's goals or aspirations. And so this may be a distancing or a, a, a release or maybe a, a spacing that is crucial for all parties involved. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Six of Swords reversed. And the Six of Swords reversed is basically saying, well, the biggest challenge is not moving forward, not letting yourself move on from where you've been, right? Being in a space where you're stuck or going in circles or maybe waiting too much, waiting for too long at the docks to actually push off. Sometimes the Six of Swords reverse can also indicate a need to be careful about repeating the past or holding on to something or staying in a situation just because it has history. History isn't always, it actually it's very seldom um, indicative of validity or goodness, right? Bad history happens. It just might be something that we're familiar with. And sometimes, right, we see situations like the hangman or the temperance card reversed where, yeah, changing spaces or spacing away from different people or deciding to finally move in a direction that works for us. Celebrating our own personal successes and wins with the nine of pentacles requires us to be ready to let go of something that has been keeping us stuck at the dock when we need to shove off. When it comes to relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, we've got the Ten of Cups reversed. And the Ten of Cups reversed shows up where there are problems brewing that are being covered up by glitz and glamour and aesthetic. The Ten of Cups reversed may show up for those of you who are single or available to new people, uh, where you need to be careful about somebody new who shows up this week that may present perfect, whether it's presenting physically perfect or what they decide to present verbally or in type or whatever about who they are, but it's a mask and on the inside you've got a problem. There could also be a situation that comes up where there are some revelations about things that we thought were um, perfect, maybe in a certain uh, arrangement as we have had it with maybe um, a partner or a family member or an in-law that are not perfect. And this could also indicate uh, something that could be going on with the past as well, some revisionist history. Either way, the Ten of Cups reversed is going to require some serious discernment. Make sure that nobody is wearing rose-colored glasses this week, and make sure we are giving ourselves permission to look at everything honestly and not try to sugarcoat or put spins, right? This is going to, you know, if, if this is going to be handled properly, it's got to be handled honestly. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on head to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.